MLG Saturday Night Instinct versus Status Quo. It's match number two, an amazing 50th event. Chris Puckett joined in the booth by Shockwave and Gandhi. Congratulations. I have to congratulate my sister on her engagement this morning. I even flubbed that one. But here we go, guys. Let's get into the game. I am pumped for this one. It's Onslaught Capture the Flag, and we're getting it started with one of the best players when it comes to the battle rifle skills. It's Roy. And this map, guys, it's all about the teamwork, communication, and the battle rifles. Chris, what are we expecting to see here? I'm expecting to see Roy in top middle almost the entire game. I mean, that kid is the hardest player, I think, in the circuit to get out of top middle, and he crushes people with the battle rifle. Scotty? I'm going to have to agree, but I expect Roy to kind of get in their base a little more. All right, we'll see how he plays this one to start off the game. It looks like he's going to let Cloud charge out first, bottom middle. Roy is going to follow him up. And they're making his way down bottom A after starting the charge bottom B. What's going on with this instinct squad? Cloud and Lunchbox were shut down. It looks like El Might and Roy are playing a bit passive here. Yeah, they look kind of lost right now, Chris. It's like they didn't expect status quo to come out firing so hot. Roy going for the stick here on Flame Sword. Flame Sword versus Roy. Roy leaves it for El Might Warrior to clean up. Now putting shots on Ace. Great communication and teamwork already from this Instinct squad. And that has really been the difference between them and every other team so far this season. And that's exactly what you want to see right there. When you are when your teammate dies, you want to just get behind the other team and get in their base. Exactly what Roy, Roy did. And here we go. We got Roy. He's been the longest living player so far in this game. Staying alive all the way into the base about a minute in. Switching up his sensitivity. Whoa, that's a four. Oh, Moving back man. down to three. He's falling to defy. Yeah, you can't be doing that come tournament time. You got to stay confident in your shot. I've went through that sensitivity crisis. I'm telling you, it's not just the tournament. Just stick to what you're used to. Right now, we're switching over to El Might Warrior. He's rocking his brand new Gunner Optics. Those are the Phantoms on in Best Buy stores. And El Might, he's making his way bottom B side, making his way into the... At SQ base, and there's a clutch beatdown on Flame Sword. Now they're going to run it bottom A here. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do because even though they killed the guys on B, they know since they overloaded A, they will not spawn there. So he gets the flag back to his base. Chris, what are you expecting to see here out of the Instinct squad? They had three down, but the flag's out. Uh, well, I don't think they're really going to get this one. Uh, Status Quo did a very good job stopping this flag, but what I've seen so far is Instinct has literally been in Status Quo's base this entire time. Status Quo has almost not been able to push yet. This is the first time they've been out and hopefully they can get some control and get a cap. And Naval making his way top middle with Ace here for status quo. Two guys top middle, the flag's running in the hands of Cleet. That's uh, assault for some of you guys who don't know him on the personal <laughs> basis. But now we got Ace trying to protect that flag as Instinct's moving in for their turn and a great four shot from Ace. He's really heating up with the BR. Yeah, and now look for look for Ace to just come right into it or get assassinated. But when he spawns, he's gonna be feeling it. He's gonna have more confidence going up against his big brother. Flame Sword uh, dropping down from bottom A, making his way bottom middle to the Mauler. Instinct really starting to turn it on now. And let's switch over to the red team as we crank up the A40s. It's time for our Astro Listen In. Two on two, stay like this. You guys are one shots. You have help, stay right. Three weeks. I need one shot still. I'm pushing inside right corner. I need help. All right, left. Two dead. Hold on me, I need help. It's open, it's open. One shot. Three dead, three dead. Top center, top center. Come on, one shot. I got him, I got him. Spawning, spawning. Beat up, beat up. Find me, I need help, I need help. Find me. One shot, there be square. One shot, be square. I died, I died. I got another. Three dead, last guy. Last guy, we. Oh, me, one shot. Hold the one. Watch out, be tunnel. Watch out, be tunnel. I'm watching it. Don't go in. Still be tunnel. Still be tunnel. Still be tunnel. No, I know, he's there, he's on me. I'm pushing on him. Under our base, under our base. I'm looking. Stay on, stay on. Under our base, under our base. I'm running it. Low B, guys. Be mates, be mates. Weak there, B squares. Stay on there, someone. Two dead, one's bad, bottom seven. RB squares. 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 One shot. I got him. Three down. Three down right now. Under the base, under the base. What's up, Abe? What's going to be top A? I got him, I got him. You guys are A. Aaron's weak there, A box. We got to run this, guys. I'm running it. I'm running it. Watch out, they're beat. Watch out, they're beat up. 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 Watch no, I'm right I'm right there. Top A, one shot. Top B, one shot, I mean. Where's Ace? One shot, Top B. I got him. He's one shot. I got him. I got him. Top B was one shot. I'm getting railed, dude. Go, go, go. Be stairs. Go, be stairs, guys. One shot, low B. One shot, low B. I'm 
I'll get one shot on me. The last guy's got it. No one's on a flag yet. I saw him. I saw him. Flag is still down. Our 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 flag is still down. So the flag is stopped. A huge return by Assault by Status Quo. Guys, at this point in the game, last match, we saw about six flags on the scoreboard. What's different here between Instinct and Status Quo? Well, you know, they just really haven't gotten control. You notice how both teams are staying very low, whereas Final Balls and Believe the Hype got top control and were able to run back-to-back -back flag caps. That's the difference here. And Mabel shutting down Lunchbox inside the base. We got Assault position top middle, and Ace is pushing in for the flag. But like you said, neither team really taking control. Every time they get up top, just like Assault did, they drop down. Yeah, but right now they're in the position. If you see his two teammates, they're top mid B, and now they're just going to pull the flag and run it B after they kill Cloud. Ooh. Or he can just run through him. Cloud's just going to clutch it with a sick beatdown. You got Cloud pushing out of the base with Roy right now. They're going to try and lock down B for instinct. Meanwhile, Lunchbox is going top A, and it looks like Elmire Warrior is going to be coming off the spawn to help out Box on A side. I've seen a little bit of interesting play here from uh, Instinct. They get in the other team's base, but they seem to be more concerned about spawn killing than running the flag. And I don't know if that's been hurting or helping them. Looks like they're going for a little bit of stat padding here so far. Maybe they'll just turn it on <laughs> at the second half of the game. But Instinct definitely doesn't look as clutch as they were last two events here, guys. It doesn't look like they have their teamwork down as nearly as much. Well, it's not even so much their teamwork because when you hear the communication, they're definitely on the same page. It's just they've lost track of the big picture, which is the objective. Like Chris said, they're only trying to spawn kill. You pull the flag. You can get, when you have three down, you're going to get the cap most of the time. Especially with an instinct team that can usually out PR almost any other team on the circuit. They're all great killers. I mean, you might as well throw the flag and at least try a few times before. I, I might as well, I mean. Here we got Flamesword position top middle, putting shots on Elamite Warrior. Yeah, I said it correctly. His family corrected me in the lobby earlier today. Flamesword running the flag in, and here we go. It's the first flag for SQ. SQ takes the first lead here in the game one. Flamesword has been playing amazing this entire game. I've constantly been looking at his screen, and the kid really hasn't been losing many BR fights. Flamesword helping out, finishing off the kill on Elamite Warrior after Elamite took down Ace. Nice long-range shots, helps enable pick up a double kill. And now we got three members alive for status quo, only one alive for instinct. Elmite Warrior trying to stay alive, bottom B. This is not good for instinct right here as Flame Sword, he's just random fire down from above. Yeah, and a great job by him to pick up the frags. A lot of people don't notice that, but if you pick up those frags and you know they're spawning bottom B, you're going to get easy kills as soon as they spawn. What and better way to get a kill than if they spawn on the mid? There's a double kill. Like oh. I said, a perfect four for the triple. Flame Sword, your new heroes. And now it looks like he's going to position top V box. So check this out, guys. We have two members alive here for status quo over on A side. Flame Sword just wants more kills, charging out of the base to finish that one. Starting to get greedy. And nice grenade, wow. prediction grenade. Listen to the communication. Catches Cloud with an easy kill. Oh. Out VR's Elamite Warrior. That's four down again, and he is on oh a frenzy. Oh, my goodness. Instinct looks very clueless right here, Chris. I mean, they normally would always get the guy out of their base first, but they're trying to get control of top middle. You have to get the guy out of your base before you can do anything. And I have to ask, Flames or Flame Sword and crew, status quo, they weren't at the latest 16 land. Do you think that gives them any advantage coming into this tournament? I don't think it does necessarily because they still went to the three team land with Victoria's Secret. It just helps to get an understanding of what teams are doing what, but regardless, you still have to know what it's like to play against them. Well, here we go. We have Instinct coming off the respawn. Lunchbox is trying to get into the status quo base. Instinct looking to come for a first cap of their own. They really haven't taken map control up to this point. Finally, they do as Lunchbox is running at bottom B. It looked like they just needed to end Flame Sword Spree. Now they're able to do a little bit of objective work. And here we go. It's all tied up one to one. One thing about that Flame Sword killing frenzy, it was really impressive while I was doing it. But at the same time, they only got one cap during that process. Was not effective. Right now, though, Flame Sword getting the flag return bottom middle for SQ. You got Assault position top middle, Ace is top A, and Enable is in the base. Here is Status Quo's turn to make a counter cap. Right now they look like they're in a good position to get this cap. The great LPR on Enable. And once again, Stop just it. when we thought that SQ was gonna get things rolling, it looks like Instinct just shuts them down. 
Earlier it was Cloud, this time it was Roy. Roy now at the SQ base. He's gonna get out Bjork. Let's go on board with El Might Warrior and listen in for a minute with the Instinct Squad. They really need to turn things around because SQ is constantly charging and getting into their base. And bottom center, right, base. Coming. And base. I'm gonna shot. Stop A, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm die. Guys, feel this guy coming to our flag. Stop A, guys. RB, RB right now, RB box, one shot, that's all. Our flag, I'm still with John, I'm still with John. Top A, 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 I got three, I got three. Top A, I got one shot, top one shot. Top A, that's all. Let's go, let's go. Fucking go. go. Eight, three, eight, three. Top Stay alive, fuck it. Eight, eight, two, one shot. They're eight spawn again. I'm on the Three dead last guy, eight stairs, weak. He's dead. Four dead, one spawn, one weak. Three dead, three dead. Two guys are beat. I am. Three dead, three dead. Weak, weak, flag. I got him. He's one shot on the flag, absolute. Go in there, he's right behind the sliver. Sliver, sliver. Right there, right there. Eight spawns, eight spawns. Two dead, two dead. Go, go, go. We gotta stop playing, we gotta run it, man. We gotta just run it. Two dead, two dead, two dead. 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 Two dead, two dead, two Eight stairs, right, eight stairs, help him out, I'll go to the next. Don't run this shit. I'm running it, I'm running it. Don't run the AC, don't run it. Top eight, there's a bolt there. Top eight, weak. Top eight, 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 Top center eight. Watch out, top center eight. Top center eight. Watch out, I got it. Three dead. Three flag. Good flag. Let's go. B guys, spawn. B. Watch out, B guys. You guys are below 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 B guys. Pushing the beat. Very much weak. Clear. I'm pushing the street. Let's watch a basement maybe. Yeah, two already cuts. Two are courtyard. Two are courtyard. Hold mother guys. Hold mother. Hold mother guys. Hold the mother. 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 Hold the Nice guys. Our flight, flight, our flight. You guys. B stairs. stairs. One shot, lunch box, or B window. We're not available. Hey, B Ness, B Ness on the. A Maze, one shot. Cloud, one shot, A Maze. Whoever's A Maze. Nice shot. Three. All dead, all dead. One small, one small. What is small? B, B stairs to flight. B stairs to flight. Keep watching B. They can get B virtual ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, the flag guys, the flag, I don't know. They're A-1-0, I'm gonna name it. 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 They're A-1-0, I'm gon
And here we go, we got a flag opportunity here for Roy. Will he pull the flag? Yes, he will. He's gonna run it bottom middle. He's gonna cut it back B-side. He knows he's got a bit of cover fire there from Cloud and Lunchbox. And Roy will continue to keep this flag alive. He holds it, jukes out two players. He's got it to his stairs. Can he get it in? And no, he's gonna be stopped by Grenade. Flame Sword, the only player in position to get the return. He's making the jump top middle. And the flag is stopped once again by Flame. That is back-to-back -back flag stop. Oh. Ace is there for the return. He's got it. And it's still a two to one game, but SQ really needs to turn things wow. around. And Roy is trying to put a stop to that with a nice triple kill. Yeah, he really played that one very correctly. And he managed to stop the entire SQ team on his base. We got Flame Sword Nade in the A corner. It looks like SQ saving up for one last charge. Remember, in MLG rules, if the flag is out of the base, the game will continue until it is returned or the flag is scored. If it's all tied up at 15 minutes, we'll go into overtime. It's do or die time here for SQ and Assault and Enable, the only ones alive. They aren't going to get there. This one's over. Instinct takes game one. An extremely tight game, number one. Roy, 37 kills, plus nine. On the other side, though, Flame Sword, 40 kills, only 29 deaths with 20 assists. That's plus 11. Instinct squeaks by with game one. They now lead the series one to zero. So here we go, Instinct squeaking by game one, guys. We're going into game number two. Team Slayer on Heretic. What does status quo need to do to turn this one around? Well, you know, it's Heretic, so they just need to get control of Pink Tower. And if they can just get Roy out of his groove just a little bit, because Roy was on a slaying frenzy there, Chris. And we are going to get this one started with Flame Sword from status quo, as it looks like Lunchbox is going to be hosting up the game for us here. Once again, you are watching MLG Saturday Night Instinct 1, status quo 0. We're going into game number 2, Team Slayer on Heretic. Once again, really no power weapons other than the sword located top middle. There's two bases, the pink tower, the carbine side. It's all about controlling pink and using the battle rifles, communication, and teamwork. We're getting this one started with the captain of status quo, Flame Sword. He just dropped 40 kills, and he's looking to get at least 10. I think 10's a good number for a 4v4, right? I agree. I think I'm going to go with 15. 15? Yeah. All right. He's got it in him. Shockwave's predicting 15. I, I got 10 on him with 12 assists. <laughs> 2 0 Flame Sword. I like the way he's playing this one. He let the rest of his team spread out pink side and he held back. Yeah, and that's what that's what I was actually going to point out. Notice how he was anchoring and now he's just right behind him because as soon as you kill the team at the other base, they spawn at your base. And it's a perfect strategy here as you see the 8 0 lead. Oh, oh but Roy's too big. Make that a 7 1 lead as we, we see Status Quo come right out of the gates charging here. And they, they got pink control already. But you know, on this game type, you can't count any team out because whoever gets pink control can easily take the lead very quickly. Another great flank by Flame so I know you guys can't see it, but he's just picking double kills up on the carbine side. While his team's controlling the pink side, he's been flanking and he's been getting a lot of kills by doing it. Just read the bottom left, it says Flame Sword killed, Flame Sword killed. Now it's Enable as he picks up a double. Going Another kill out of Ace, 13, make that 14 to two. Status quo dominating the start of this one. They've literally just been hunting the Instinct spawn so far this game. They've literally just, every time Instinct has spawned, they've been, get, they've been getting shot. And Naval picks up another double kill as Ace was distracting over on the Gandhi spot, Eli rather. 17 to three as Ace is taken down. Let's switch over to the Instinct squad. I wanna see what's going wrong. It looks like Cloud is finally setting up in pink too. And uh, let's go back to blue, because red can't win a battle. We're going to switch on board with Enable. He's over on Carbine side. Cloud coming off the respawn, picking up a kill there on pink two. But now we got Ace once again in the base. They're constantly flanking, just like you said, Chris, waiting for the respawns wow. and then flanking from all directions. You know, and Instinct's fighting on this Carbine. You notice how Elamite Warrior and them are pushing towards the Carbine sign. You don't want to do that there. You just want to have an anchor in the base and get control of Pink. If there's a guy Carbine sign, if you kill all those guys Pink, they're spawning there and they are screwed. Lunchbox, Roy, Elmite, and Cloud all trying to push Carbine side. Meanwhile, you see Status Quo locking down the Pink Tower. It looks like Enable, the only one over on Carbine, and he is going to trade kills with Cloud and Elamite. Another thing that's huge for status quo this game, as you can see, they've been out shooting Instinct this game. During the last Onslaught game, Instinct was definitely the hotter team, but right now, 
status quo is killing it. And we got to go back over to this SQ squad. You see Assault constantly putting the pressure over on Carbine's side. He's going to get chased by Lunchbox and friends. But he's got El Might Warrior helping him out down low. Flame Sword is sitting pink one to provide cover fire while Ace is still locking down that pink two control. And as Ace makes his way up to P3, we're taking a look at the score. It's 28 to 16 in favor of status quo. And, and notice how you just saw Roy in the front of the base right there. He jumped out of blue two to chase a guy pink one. Why is he chasing? That's not Roy like. You can almost see the panic and instinct in this game. They were down by a whole lot in the beginning, and right now they're almost trying to scrounge for kills. A 13-kill lead here from Status Quo, and taking a look at the scoreboard, it's all pretty much evenly spread out. 10 kills for Enable, 9 kills for Flamesword, 9 kills for Ace. Assault's got to have a ton of assists. Well, right here, you can see that Instinct has finally gotten control of Pink. And now they, I'm looking for them to go on a run. Yeah, it's only a nine kill differential. Make that 10 kills as status quo picks up another kill. Lunchbox is going to be taken down by Assault on P3. And once again, you see all of those blue arrows. That means those are your teammates, and they're on Pink's side here for status quo. And, and he ran it perfectly, Chris. Notice how he didn't jump into the middle of Pink 3. He stayed Pink 3 red side. And by doing that, no one knew in Pink 2 if he was there or not. Assault finally taken down. Ace and Flamesword with 12 kills now. They contribute for 24 of their team's 40. We're watching Assault lifting up B. He waited for the call out. New Roy was injured. Let's Ace finish off the kill in front of Blue Base. He's waiting for the other one to come up as Flamesword finishes off the kill on Elmite. This is just perfect teamwork out of status quo. Yeah, they're just pinning them perfectly. They know where they're going to spawn for some reason, and they just keep swarming them. And here we go in the final seconds of the game. We're just four kills away for SQ. They are not letting Instinct do anything here. They constantly put the pressure on him. Going for the stick. He missed it, but Ace is going to finish off the kill on Roy. It's 48 to 33. And Naval coming off the respawn at red base. He's under red one and just one kill away. Assault's putting shots on players. And Naval's pushing in on Cloud. Car two. Can he finish the kill? Assault gets it. They take game number two. And let's take a look at the stats here. Check out the assist column there for status quo. 16 assists out of Enable while he puts up positive one. Ace going off with a 16 and seven performance. That's plus nine. Status quo taking it to instinct, bouncing right back in game number two. It's all tied up in the series now, one to one. Oh, and check out the guys in the, in the stands here. They're rocking some of our brand new MLG get some gear hats found in wood stores around the country. You can get yours later this fall. So here we go, guys. It's all tied up on MLG Saturday night. Instinct 1, status quo 1. We'll be back with game 3 in just a moment. 